I came to the University of Washington as a very frustrated 18-year-old. To understand why, I should explain something to you. Dance is my life. I love to dance, and I never feel more alive than when I am performing. This was my reality for 15 years. However, when I was 15, I had to have a full spinal fusion because of life-threatening scoliosis. My spine was so deformed it had begun crushing my lungs, and with that surgery, I lost 90% of my spinal mobility. This came with a loss of my sense of self. Dancing wasn't the same anymore. I couldn't move the way I used to. My spine was now held together by two titanium rods and 26 screws, and I felt stiff and sore all the time. I was so frustrated every day because the way I danced didn't look the same, and I wasn't progressing the way my classmates were. In high school, I could hide from that. I could throw myself into classes and extracurriculars and my family and ignore the fact that I felt so lost. That was the case when I got to college. But when I got to the University of Washington, I was on my own for the first time. I was in classes that were more intellectually challenging than I'd ever known, and I was being asked to do a lot of self-reflection. I'd never done that before, and I realized I was very unhappy. I'd lost my identity. I was still going to dance class, but I had given up. My dancing wasn't beautiful anymore. But I was so wrong. I made the very happy mistake of signing up for Dance 371 in the winter quarter of my sophomore year. The class was song and dance and focused on teaching the technique of singing and dancing at the same time. I would be lying if I didn't say that I thought I was going to die every single day of that class. It was the most challenging course I've ever taken. And one day I cracked and I finally asked my professor why. Why are you pushing me so hard? What's the point? And he told me, it's because I believe you can do this. You just have to believe you can do this. And he was right. I didn't believe in me anymore. That's why dancing wasn't getting any easier. I didn't believe that it could ever get any easier and I was defeating myself before I even started. After that, I kept pushing. I got yelled at a lot, and I cried a lot, and I learned a lot, and I got a 4.0 in that class. But more importantly, I proved to myself that I was capable of being a dancer. Maybe not the one I used to be, but one that was just as good. On a whim, I decided to apply to a dance intensive in Italy last summer. I never thought I would be good enough to get in, but I wanted to do this performing thing professionally, and the application experience was really beneficial. Well, I got in, and they gave me a scholarship. I studied with professional dancers from all over the world for a whole month by myself in another country. And I had fun. Dancing was fun, not frustrating. I had learned that I just had to believe in myself and know that I could succeed even though my body was different. It took a lot to teach me that, but it changed my life. And I want to change the lives of other artists just like me. I want to teach them that art is a safe place to be yourself. That's why I want to be an arts therapist. I want the world to know that even though the way you dance may look different, it will never be any less beautiful.